Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome to Market Psychology 101 where we look for value in the markets when there's fear and are cautious when there's greed. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Ethereum and the price action because it did just have an ETF approval not too long ago. Jumping over to the fear and greed, you can see that we are reversing this downtrend and going upwards. Now, maybe this is a macro high or a macro low or high, I should say, and this is just kind of a fake up before going down. Or we are still on our way up because we have higher lows and higher highs, higher lows, higher highs so far. So maybe we're getting back up into this territory of the 80s in fear and greed. And that's important to note because last time we were up here in the 80s and 90s is when Bitcoin was breaking into new all-time high territory. So if Bitcoin is able to reverse trends, get over 75,000, 80,000 is a short-term target a lot of people are calling for it we'll see then i would not doubt you'd see greed jump up here now ethereum the reason why i wanted to make an altcoin of the day video just for ethereum is because the altcoin market really reflects what ethereum does so right now just take a snapshot of this in your brain this is what the ethereum coin looks like now if we take a look at the altcoin market which is total three, and that's excluding, that's market cap excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum, it looks pretty much the same. So if Ethereum's doing well, the altcoin market tends to do well not too much long after with the large caps and the mid caps and the small caps. And you can see here, even total three, it's lagging behind a little bit, but if it starts to catch up with Ethereum, that will be a good thing. Yesterday, I did talk a lot about Bitcoin and how the Heikinashi candles, we still have not had a full body, candle body close above this gray line, which is the all time high from 2021. And until we get a majority or full candle body close above it, it I still wonder if we're going to be just encountering more resistance and, and chopping sideways. But going over to Ethereum, you can't help but say this is bullish. We have a weekly buy signal, a strong bounce off the 20 week moving average. Also going over to the alt season index, this is what the alt season index is looking like right now, guys. And not only are we getting higher lows, higher highs, and this trend is going upwards, but you can't help but think that this thing is starting to curl up and maybe we're getting ready for our first spike in the alt season. I'm wondering if that's going to happen. The last cycle, there were three spikes. Now, in here, this was the true alt season when Bitcoin dominance tanked. And when the alts, many of them, went up 10, 20x out of nowhere, it was within a month. So I, maybe we're just getting ready to have one of these and the true alt season is still another half a year to a year away, we'll see. But looking at this chart on the alt season index on blockchaincenter.net, that looks very bullish to me as a chart. So we'll see if that continues. Now, zooming out on Ethereum, here, I want to redraw this fib also to show you guys how I do this. Uh, I get people asking time to time. Well, first of all, we do have this trend line down here. And if Ethereum ever got near there, you can see we have the 200 week moving average, which is just under 2000. And I don't think Ethereum's going to get there anytime soon. But if it were in these levels from the 2400 around the 100 MA to the 200 MA on the weekly, those would be very good times to buy as well as down here. But again, I'm not sure we're even going to get down there to begin with. So draw the fib. The way I do this, I go from the prior high to the prior low. And we got it right here. And I also want to make sure that we are on log scale. Good. So you can see Ethereum here. It's above the 786. And really, it just has to retest its former all-time high. Now, it's kind of funny. It hasn't done that like Bitcoin has. Maybe Ethereum's getting ready to do something similar to what Bitcoin's been doing. Retest the all-time high, maybe even break above the all-time high, touch 5,000 and then come up or come down and then test resistance again. So we'll see, is Ethereum going to do something like Bitcoin did? So again, Bitcoin, it, it broke the prior all-time high in here, got above the gray line. It wicked above a few times, all right? Came back down, had a correction on the 20, still bullish, came back up above. Ethereum has yet to do that. So it may be Ethereum's getting ready to go on its way. We've also had Bitcoin dominance 
with a weekly sell signal flash in here and maybe it's got lower to go and if bitcoin dominance is lower to go and bitcoin price can at least stay stable then ethereum can go up further now taking a look at some price targets you can see here ethereum has a 454 billion dollar market cap to look at price targets take your fib bring it off log scale and this will give you some decent price targets so when we scroll down here on the right side it, again keep in mind market cap a lot of people make ridiculous claims for price targets and they don't consider market cap and when i think of market cap i i think of some of the magnificent seven stocks now not the microsoft the apple the nvidia that's around three trillion maybe something one and a half to two trillion maybe we're talking like a google or an amazon so you know if we did a four and a half it, let, let's just round it up to 500 to make it simple it, that would be about a 3x maybe a 4x max somewhere around one and a half to two trillion at best that is my max bullish realistic case scenario um even conservatively speaking but if that were to happen then ethereum at its current price of around four thousand well then you'd multiply it times three or four that would be 12,000 or 1,600, somewhere in there. And there's a couple fib marks in here that you can see right around the 2618 and the 3618 at 11,278 and 15,248. Uh, so in this range, the 2618 and the 3618, I would say those would be two of the most macro bullish targets. I would personally eye this one. But if you're new to crypto, if you're looking for something safe, sure, Ethereum would be a safe play. Now, in crypto, it, nothing's safe. It, it's so volatile. That's why a lot of people look at altcoins like Link, IMX, XRP, a, a bunch of those because they have potential for more multiples. And should we get another cycle like we have in here in 2017 or in here in 21 and alt season does spike up, if you are in the right altcoins, those can be very profitable times and, and good times to take profits um, because the market's so volatile. Crypto will go up and then spike down, go up and spike down. Now it's still going up higher and higher. We are here on this log scale on this rainbow chart, but just something to keep an eye on as far as let's throw on the let's throw on the RSI before we go here and we'll take off our buy signal. We Actually, let's take a look at the daily real quick. So the daily just got a little bit of red. So maybe we're just testing the 786. Going to come back down to the 618, somewhere around 3330. Um, if so, then maybe this is a macro lower high. Just something to watch for. And especially watch this 50 moving average. The 100 is coming up around the 618, around 3343 if we do get that close. Let's take off our macro buy sell signal let's throw on the rsi and end it there and with the rsi let's go over to the weekly you can see here the rsi spiked here but the price and now if the price does go higher and the rsi stay down here stay stays down here that is bearish divergence so just something to keep an eye on uh, right now the price still lower the rsi still lower so we have to see what the price in RSI is going to do. Um, but if the RSI really starts to spike, and overall we do have this higher low, maybe it's going getting ready to spike higher and get into that all-time high territory. So anyways, guys, keep an eye on the e Ethereum price, especially with, with the alt-season index starting to curl up. Maybe we're going to get a mini alt-season spike here shortly. We'll see. I'm not saying that will be the end of the of the alt season <clears throat> for that to be true we'd have to watch bitcoin dominance crash so hope you guys enjoyed the video take care i'll do the bitcoin mining stock video later today take care